Have you ever wondered what life on Mars would be like if we settled there? Picture this. It's Tunai 50, and you're waking up in Tharsis City, a maze of pressurized domes carved into crimson cliffs. Outside, dust storms may swirl, but inside the air hums with warmth, and the pulse of artificial gravity fields beneath your feet. You slip into your smart suit, self-sealing, radiation shielded, and step into a transit pod. Through tunnels lit by bioluminescent vines, you glide toward the hydroponic farms. Here under pink-tinted grow lights, plump tomatoes and kale with roots dipped in melted polar ice are grown. Recycled endlessly, water is scarce. Every drop is precious. You're a terraformer, a worker who by day deploys nanobots to coax oxygen from the rust-red soil. By night, you watch Earth rise, a blue marble hanging in a star-smeared sky. Communication with Earth takes 20 minutes. You send voice notes. They reply with videos of oceans you've almost forgotten. Your kids play in gravity gyms, leaping like superheroes in 0.38 G. Dinner is lab-grown steak with Martian potatoes. Water is siphoned from ancient glaciers purified to a taste cleaner than Earth's. It's not easy. Dust chokes solar panels. Storms lock cities down for weeks. But there's pride here in gardens grown from sterile ground, in humanity's fragile foothold on a dead world. We're not just surviving. We're learning to breathe life into the rust. This is Mars. Cold, harsh, and utterly ours. Thank you.